But Granny tries, Granny tries, wonders why there's dampness arising. Confusions of all, memories missed, but she's still smiling. And all that she knows is the love she can feel when she's drenching wet. Why don't we laugh high, watch grandma's world? Why don't we laugh high with this funky girl? Why don't we laugh high in her mystery world? She checks the stew, checks the pie, still the moisture's arising. Says what the heck with a quirky peck, ain't no need for advising. Got grooves in her step, though her drawers might be wet. The city's water department We need an advisor She's been moist for days And there's nothing stopping it We're drowning in her moisture Send help We're drowning Drowning This is Mildred Monday, and you're listening to Madhouse Militia Presence. Hello, and welcome to Madhouse Militia Presence, episode 106. The voice you hear is of Savannah, a person Dwight the janitor spoke to seven to eight years ago. Oxba had oral surgery this week and is resting his oral cavity, so you get to hear this instead. We'd like to thank the following people for helping make the show go. So... um, Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for Rogue Server, where we broadcast our show weekly at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on Friday nights at rogueserver.com forward slash AKSPA, Dragonmere for the Corn Down at Corndown. Dot com and our patrons such as Brian N, Mig Chungus, Jad, Ryan T, Travis B, Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy 808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbos, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy, Farts 666, Hey, Zeus Pay News, Terbao, The High Level Squirrel. Thanks to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about us at immoralhole.com, travelswithmiriam.com, patreon.com, forward slash Madhouse Militia. Our YouTube is at Madhouse Militia. If you wish to contribute to the show, visit immoralhole.com, forward slash show, forward slash contribute. Please leave your name, Mother phone number, and the you. reason for your call. We will return your call between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Mountain okay, time, let me unless otherwise help. stated oh in your message. God. Thank you. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm calling because I, I had questions. Can you please give me a call back at this number? Thanks a lot, honey. Bye. Smooches. Can you please hold? Fuck you. Hello? Huh? No, fuck, no, I can't hold. Fuck you. You fuck you too, bye. No, fuck you, you in the mouth. Motherfucker, you. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Monterey Tide. This is Alex. Can you hold, please? 
No. Hey, Alex. No. Tell them we can't hold. Hey, Alex, we're we're really fine pressed and uh, can't hold. Did you put us on hold anyway? Windows 95 educational VHS. How may I assist? Oh, I I tried to get there in a taxi. Um, but the taxi driver started hugging and kissing me, and then he took me out to. Where do you want to go? I don't want to go out to dinner with you. Where where do you want to go? I don't know you. Okay, Uh, I go to. I don't know you. How, How do I get there? Um, will you buy me champagne? Of course, champagne in the back. I drink too. Drink and drive. A moonlight ride in the park? Oh no! It's okay. It's okay. Hello? Hey, Chutia. Um, I'm Hello? calling from the Hotel Escargo. I'm calling from the Hotel Escargo. Um, we have, we have someone staying here who, I want to send him to you. I don't want him to stay here anymore. Can you take him? I guess not. Hmm. Claudia, how may I help you? Hey, Claudia, Hello? this is Big Christopher calling. Hi, Claudia, this is Big Christopher calling. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. I got this. How can I help I you? Got, I just have. Oh, you're just gonna cut me off the entire time, or can we have a conversation? Oh, I'm Claudia? sorry. I didn't mean to cut yeah. you off. Proceed. Yeah, customer service, please. Yeah, okay. So I got an excess of soil. I got to get rid of. You have what? Um, an excess of soil. I got to get rid of this stuff. I was just wondering, could it, can I like plant this on somebody? Like, like if if I did that, I wouldn't get kicked out, right? So I can uh, just wipe I'm sorry, my hands clean. Po- your phone is kind of cutting off. I can't really understand what you're saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My phone's cutting off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you didn't want to deal with me, you could have just told me the fuck off at the beginning if you want to be an asshole. <laughs> Ladia, fucking Ladia. Fucking goddamn Ladia. God damn it. I'm going to plant soil on everyone in there. You're going to be <laughs> walk, walking around the dirt in their pocket, Ladia. Okay. There's nothing you can okay, do about this it. This is like the best prank call I've ever gotten, so I'll give you props it's for that. It's not a prank call. I'm, I'm <laughs> super serial here. I'm an, <laughs> I'm an important... I'm an important business guy. I have a suit and a tie. I'm going to come in. I got a handkerchief in my pocket. I'm going to give you a business card. Big Christopher Soil. That's my company. Oh, okay. She wants your dick. That that sounds great. I'm going to come in. I'm going to give you $200, and I'm going to pop off your shoes. What do you think of that? What do you think of that idea? You're, they call him. Yeah. They, they call him Christopher Soil because his pants. You know, he, he dirties his pants. He soils you're, them. You're that bald guy. Okay. Your shoes for two hundred dollars, and you're, you're gonna enjoy okay. it. Okay. Okay. Hey guy, why do why do your why do your hands smell like chloroform? Don't worry about that. Do you guys just pick like random numbers? Like, no, seriously. <laughs> Cause this no, is, we're like, just the calling you specifically. We're 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 going after you specifically. Your friend set us oh. up. Oh, really? That that's weird because I I literally have no friends. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who do you think it is? That's how you up. Who do you think it is? Mm, can't really say because I have no friends. <laughs> well, that's sad. Aww. Yeah, sad, sad go, but go true. Out, you know, like, go to the bar. Yeah, go yeah. To the, yeah, go to the bar. You'll find a nice gentleman who doesn't want to have sex the same night he meets you. Oh, I go to the bar. <laughs> I go to the bar a lot. <laughs> so, oh, you guys sound like lots of fun. You guys 
sound like you guys are drinking, having a good time, prank calling people. We do. We do. One more question, though. You want to get pregnant? <laughs> no, no. I'm I'm too old for that. <laughs> Ain't got no time. <laughs> I have a question. See, if you pop off your shoes for me, that won't get you pregnant. But <laughs> I have a question. So Can you touch your elbows behind your back? No, I can't. Try it. Try it. <laughs> no. Oh my God! You guys, touch you guys are, are too back. much. Make them touch. <laughs> no. You guys are too much. I, I hope you guys have a. <laughs> oh my God. You're a weird. I hope girl. you guys have You're a good night. <laughs> I'm weird. <laughs> Look what you guys are are telling me. <laughs> But I, I you guys have a good weird. night. You guys are I really... Me and you are different. You're a girl and I'm a boy. You know what that means? Oh, <laughs> no. Well, you have different parts. We have different parts. <laughs> you have different ones down there and so do I. Oh, well, it's good to know that it, at least you guys, you know, <laughs> no boy and girl. Your, you yours know. is hairy. It's a little too hairy down there and... Mine is ready for it. I'm going to bring You're you so a bouquet funny. of roses to get those shoes that pop off. <laughs> oh, my God. A box oh, okay, of well, you guys have a good night. How long is your hair? How long is oh your hair? Oh, my God. I'm going to serenade you. <laughs> you guys are so champagne funny. champagne in a limousine. If, so, if you were to lay your box. hair down, would it cover your you-know-what? <laughs> you guys are are so funny. You guys sound like you guys are drinking, having a good time, and and I hope you guys keep well, having a good time, a safe time. Before, this is the only way I tell you shit like this. You're what? <laughs> I've actually seen Hello? you once. I stayed there once before, and I remembered you. You're so pretty, and I'm probably never going to see you again, but I just wanted to call and tell you you're so beautiful, and this is the only way with my friends because I'm insecure. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, I appreciate that. You know, you know, I, I really needed that. You, so you were the girl I with hope big you breasts. Guys... No, that wasn't me. Mm, now I'm and, sad. And <laughs> You're so funny. I'm gonna give you four hundred dollars. When I was there, I had a dream. You sat on my face, and I suffocated. <laughs> Are you guys like in college or something? <laughs> you guys are and then so I funny. Woke and I was mad that it was a dream. No, we're, we're all underage. You're in for this. You're, I'm sorry. We're, we're going to have to call somebody. We're all underage. We're going to have to call like the sheriff or something on you. He's a little <laughs> boy. He has a little penis. We're all teenagers oh and you're God. talking to us. You can't be talking to teenagers like this, man. His, his penis is the size of a pinky. Oh, my God. You guys are so funny. But I hope you guys have a good night, a good, we, safe night. We just went to, we, we went to the gas station. We just swiped a bottle of vodka. His penis oh, looks my like God. Pinto and his balls look like little M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh, well, you guys have a good I night. You, so you guys much. drink Mary, safe please. and take care. <laughs> Bye-bye. Will you marry me, please? <laughs> I love you. God, I love that one. She couldn't tell if it was a joke. <laughs> oh, she hears us. Hi. Oh, she better not look up an immoral hole. Thank you for calling the lighthouse. Thank you for calling the lighthouse. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you, sir? I'm good. I have a question about your location. Is okay. it actually a lighthouse? It's on Lighthouse Avenue, sir. Oh, but it's not a lighthouse. No, the lighthouse is actually physically on the back nine of a golf course near our hotel. Okay, can you see it from the hotel, like from the rooms? No, sir. No, you would need to oh. uh, go out and make a... About two blocks away. Are you the keeper of the lighthouse? No, sir. Well, the, the, the hotel, though. 
Yeah, it's lighthouse, lodge, and cottage. Okay. You have cottages? We have, like, uh, they're like suites. They're cottages oh, in Mabel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What, what makes them, what, what's different about them? Is it, like, how many people or few? No, they're all guaranteed to have king beds, fireplaces. Some of them have jetted tubs. Some of them have walk-in showers. They're slightly bigger rooms than our standard hotel rooms. And they come with hot breakfast every day. Uh, what what's on the Mooney breakfast? likes to go cottaging. Okay, what was that? Oh, uh, what what's what? Sorry, that's my brother. He's uh, he he doesn't have all his screws. They're a little loose, you know. Um, Stop making fun of me. Yeah, you know, but uh, you know, uh, sorry, I lost my train. Oh right, the uh, breakfast. What what comes with that? It's like a hot breakfast if you get the cottage room. There's chili killis, there's scrambled eggs, there's omelets, there's a whole bunch of stuff. you make it with heat? Yeah, yeah, they cooked it to order. But with heat? Like, yeah, I don't want it, you know, steamed. That's what? not That's not appropriate. The steaming it? No. Yeah, they cook it to order, sir. Okay, at the lighthouse? Yeah, Okay. Did you, uh, Let me put my brother on. He sir? well, my brother wanted to book the reservation. Here, here, take the, take it. Hello. How you doing? Hi. Yes. Uh, I would like to get a room for my girlfriend, Nunu. We like to go cottaging together. For what day, sir? How much? How much are the cottages? What do they run? What day, sir? What day are you might, doing that? You see, oh, how about tomorrow? Yeah, and then we can party all night. He's a half Indian she girl. Okay. How much does it run? <laughs> there it is. Thank you for calling the Monterey Bay Inn. This is Dennis. How may I help you? What's up, bro? Um, I had a quick question. Mm-hmm. What's the name of that one place where you go and you get the coffee? Starbucks? No, it's like a coffee shop right next to you guys, but the girl there, she has long hair and big old tits. I don't know if you've been there before. I forgot the name of it. Uh, Probably Title Coffee, because that's the only one that would be right next to us. Have you gone in there, though? Have you seen that girl with the big-ass titties? No, I haven't, but... I don't, I probably, I believe you. Like, her fucking tits are so big, bro, that her nipples are sticking out of the top of her tank top. I was like, what the fuck? And then I had my sunglasses on, so, like, I, Mm -hmm. yeah, bro, go check that shit out, bro. Like, I was like, what the fuck? And, um, and she's, like, I think she's, like, half white, half Mexican, so, like, her skin was light. But her like, nipples were like, brown, like, bro. Creamy. I was like, oh, what the yeah, that's fuck? Perfect. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. That shit was wild, bro. I was, like, trying not to walk around with a boner. They say when you get a boner, like, you got to flex your, like, arms or your muscles because the blood goes to them instead of your dick, bro, so you're not walking around with a big, fat cock. Well, I feel it. Like usually I like to stand against the wall. So, like, you know, so, like, if I do, it's just, like, it's on the wall. So it's, like, doesn't, like, go up. So I don't want to, you know, no one really notices. Fuck, bro, if if I stand next to the wall, I'll probably poke a hole in the wall with my dick, bro. I can't do that shit. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even think about that. (sighs) Do you guys have a hole in the wall in the bathroom at your hotel? Multiple, actually. Uh, Have you ever stuck a little penis through one of the holes? All the time, what do you mean? Is that that even a question? And then what happens? (sighs) But then what happens after? I, can't, I don't know if I can say that. Whisper it then, bro. I won't say shit. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put you on hold real quick. Man, I want to go see that girl. Get me over there. <laughs> uh, Elasma's going to tell us which spot it is, and we'll go check her out, Milkman. He's going to save that number, and we're going to go say what's up. You bring the kilos. Oh, 
recording you did. Okay, I'm back. I'm back to have this beautiful conversation we're having. All right, bro. Well, tell me what happens when you shove your little penis through the hole. It's just... Usually, it's it hurts. Honestly, it hurts really bad. Like, I don't know why I keep doing it, but every time I take it out, it just bleeds everywhere. That's gay, bro. Don't be gay, bro. <laughs> what? You can't say that. It's 2024. Don't be a little gay boy, bro. <laughs> Put Guillermo on the line. Put Guillermo on. <laughs> yeah, what's your little dick name, Guillermo? Yeah, it is. How'd you know? You you got you probably this on your balls. That's how small your dick is, bro. I'm sorry. No, I do. The balls are bigger than the shaft. Mhm. It's just how I was born. I just I wish I could do something about it. Honestly, if I saved up the money, I can probably get surgery. Honestly. Nah, bro, you're good the way you are. You'll find someone to love you. Maybe you can be a bottom. You telling me I'm perfect? Everybody's perfect in their own way in the sense that nobody's perfect, bro, so you're perfectly imperfect. Damn. This was Byron. Okay. That was just a little gay, honestly. Is there a point to this? Hello? How should I know? <laughs> I don't even know who you are. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you for calling us on the hotel front desk. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I had a problem. I was upstairs, and I walked past, uh, I think it was 215 or 2... 217, one of those rooms, uh-huh. and I heard some really weird things coming out of it. Okay. Like, it, it was like, I don't know, it was like like an, like an echoing, like a deep, disturbing voice. Okay, that's odd. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do except have someone... Here, I hear. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm right by the. I'm right by the door again. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna slide my phone under the door. Hang on. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be able to grab it. I'm gonna pull it back. But listen. I will eat your fucking soul. Your soul is mine. Hello. Good evening. Stay in the hotel front desk. Hi, I'm up here near uh, room 215, and there's just this strange howling noise coming from behind the door. It sounds... It's really strange. I don't know if you're aware of something going on up here. It sounds like there's like a convention, or men, men moaning. Yeah, I'll hold the phone up to the door effect. here. Uh, motherfucker. That's that's pretty impressive. Why are you setting this up? You got a soundboard? What? No, I'm you standing outside the door. I'm standing no, outside the door. It? Sure is not. I sure am. Wait, this <laughs> is 117. Oh, you. Well, that explains a lot, oh, yeah. doesn't it? Which hotel oh, is sure this? It sure does. Oh. So, what kind of, uh, what kind of digital voice number are you using? Do you use like, do you use your Google Voice, your VPN? How, how do you flip this up to? I'm always interested in how to prank call. Yours is actually a good one. It's impressive. Yep, yep, soundboard. All right. Ooh, this is a vibe. It's a vibe. All right. You can change the number to 237 all you want in the movies, but I know what to haunt. I haunt 217. I'm so fucking fantastic. Yeah, you got to take that one up with Kubrick. 
I Stephen the King wasn't really I happy with it either. All right, all right. Stephen, I, I love, love the name Stevie. Mm. Mm, okay. Ooh. Well, I'm a little bit oh, bored of this geez. now. You you had me going for a bit. Ooh. I was entertaining, Ooh, but uh, we're done. Mm. Have a good one. Thank you for calling the Hotel S Desk. This is Michael. How may I help you? Hotel S Desk. How may I help you? Hello. Yeah. Uh, you're oh. broken. I'm pretty good, sir. Can you hear me? Oh. 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 And it's like Nunu, you know, talking to Nunu. We're not really having a conversation because he won't, won't talk to us. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Uh. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Yes. Who is this? Oh, this is Nunu. How are you doing? I'm the Ulu. Nunu the Ulu. How are you? And every time I go to the fucking dentist, they're like, oh, you got a cavity. I'm like, how the fuck does that even work? Thank you for calling us just now and then. That's what I'm That's not saying, bro. Like, why do we got to go and get a dentist off of Craigslist to come up here to the hotel room and fucking drill our teeth? Like, this has to be illegal. What, what are we calling at? Uh, hello? Park Resort. Just Hi. Lois, how can I help? Hi, Lois. Uh, what's the resort portion? Like... What do we got there? What's going on there? Um, well, we have hotel rooms. Are you looking for a room for tonight, or? No, I'm just I'm interested in the uh, the resort because, like, you know, uh, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow will be like the best day for the resort, you know. Okay, I'm not no, quite it's, sure. It's four twenty. It's four twenty. You know. Okay. You know, hello? I fat, I, hello? Good evening, thank you for calling us Dirk Craig. So I just barb, how may I help you? Hi, yeah, I'm starting 420 early. I was wondering if you have a place for people like me, or am I a dirty person? <laughs> uh, we don't have any, we're sold out tonight, so. Oh, is everyone, is everyone starting early? I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Okay, let me put. Let we, me don't, we, don't allow, we don't allow it up here. My brother had an a, uh, an answer and question for you, but okay. he wanted to like he wanted to ask you because he doesn't want me to ask it. Okay. okay, here, take the phone. There, guest here. They've already checked in. Hi. I want to suck dick. Hello, how can I help you? Hi. Hi, how can I help you? I just want to smoke that blunt. I'm sorry, we're not uh, available. You've reached Murphy's River Lodge in Estes Park, Colorado. If this is during office hours, you've reached Murphy's River Lodge and... Hi, uh, we got a little situation at the cottage. Uh, we burned, we burned the fire and the, the cactus. He walked on over and pricked me. Can you give me a call back? We got a situation here and it's right on the holiday too. Thank you. For I guess I got a Park raise Beach. How may I help you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. I'm staying in your country. First time from Germany. Um, I had for you just a question. Um, what was that? You're staying. What was your yes, question? I'm sorry, this is my German accent. I oh understand. no, it's it's more the connection. I'm sorry. Oh, that is. I'm. Hopefully, you can hear me better. Um, yeah, I can hear you. I had a question for you. Okay. And this question was for the 420 is the, um, is the holiday tomorrow? Um, there is, um, the holiday, 
there is kind of a, a holiday. It's not a national holiday or anything like that. It's just a, a 420 is uh, um, it is code for marijuana use in Colorado has legalized yeah. marijuana. But uh, there That's is no national no. Okay. Um, yeah, there won't be much in Estes Park. There are no dispensaries, but in Denver, um, there are um, some goings on. Well, this is all fine. I have brought my own here, and I've just basically was like wondering, like, what are the rules? And obviously, normally you should not smoke in the hotel, but like. From 420, I understand it is, like, fine. I just wanted to know what hours I could smoke in, like, the hallways and things. Oh, uh, there's no hours to it. Um, we do have um, smoking areas uh, on the premises, um, but it is not a good idea, that, you know, because there's children around to smoke outside. So yeah, maybe if you yeah. wa- walk down by the, the river or something like that, or if you're hiking, you can... Um, you could smoke, but um, yeah, I would never. But smoke but, but there is there is no there, there is no smoking in the um, in the rooms. That is correct. But um, there are plenty of areas yeah, to smoke. This is what I'm wondering because like. Like, um, in Germany, what is customary is if, like, you're staying in a hotel and you want, like, you know, friends or whatever, you can leave the door open and things. And I have done this. And I've met a few friends here who are, have brought the marijuana and who are making the smoke to celebrate early. Okay. There is no smoking of any kind in the units. So that is the rule. I understand that. Outside. What is currently, what is happening is like I, the people are in my room. I have made new friends. They have the marijuana they are smoking. It is like going into hallway because the door is okay. open. All right. That, um, that should not be happening. Currently, in, in the I'm day. seeing like tracers. It is so hazy. Say hello, boys. We party. I'm showing them how to party like in Germany, and they are showing me how to do the 420 in America. So, right. Well, there should not be any smoking in, in the units. Okay, I will. No, nah, fool, so I'm good, fool. I'm showing this fool how to do it, dog. So. Yes, and this is how you make the ghost. You go, ha, oh, ha. Oh. You want to come up? You, you, you had the question. Oh, I answered oh, the question. There is no oh. smoking in the units. Oh, I know so it's 420, but... Oh, okay, so I, I, right I, I think this... Con- the guy on the phone, oh, if he wants to hear it. I'm here. here. Let me, me, let me come, come, come up, fool. Come up and take a dog rip out of your asshole. Party. Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness, uh, uh, you hear there are so many things going on in the room? Uh, good so for my brother, Glucoma. Like, a way to do dabs off of, like the iron, it is very cool. Well, it is hot, but it is also cool. Here, suck on my gun. Uh, Rocky Mountain Hotel and Conference Center, this is Amber, how can I help you? Anybody? Hello? Here? Yes. You hear me? So I had for you, like, um, I basically I had a problem. I'm staying in one of your rooms, and it was with the ironing board. Okay, a uh, problem with the ironing board? Yeah. What room? And so they had come to my room and said that there was a problem, and so, like, I don't fully understand it myself, but the board is here. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not quite sure what you're saying, unfortunately. I do apologize. Well, the, the people here, they say they are the ironing board. There are many people, and they are like a board of people. And they say I have not been using the ironing board, like, correctly, for I am using it for 420 to, like, make the dabs. Okay, this is a prank call. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I don't understand. I'm staying in your country the first time from Germany. I just had, like, a question here. Okay. Um, Hello? Do you know what room number you're in? Wait, stay right there. Hello. 
I'm currently there are too many people blocking the way I cannot see it, but they are all here if you can hear them. They are telling me like not regulation, they're saying improper usage, they are saying like citations, different things. You hear them, correct? No, unfortunately. Hang on, there's a headman here um, by the name of Axpa. He say he is the lead, uh, the leader of the the ironing board. You talk to him. Ah. Hello. 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 Hi. Yeah. Hi. We're here. We're the ironing board. How can I'm the I help? President. Yes, yes, we we've got the board here. We're we're using it to iron the the the, uh, the flowers. We're we're pre gaming pretty hard to be honest. Is that all right? Just wanted to make sure because. What room are you in? Oh, we're in the bathroom right now. Um, I can't see the door. There's too much smoke okay, in here. Okay, well, I might have just um, if you're part of the fraternity, I might have your guys' at security just. Kind of yeah, stop by all the. Yeah, no, no, don't, don't send them. Everything is okay. Well, yeah. no, no. I mean, yeah, that's us, but no, everything's good. We're the ironing board. We're we're part of the. Uh, the Here, machine. iron this, iron this, iron oh, this, okay. iron this. Yeah, stick it. Uh, ah. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, well, just burn. convey oh, your message. Oh, security. Oh. oh God. Oh. Hello, can I row in? Hello? Hi, is there an ironing board in the room? Um, there should be. It should be in the closet section right in front of the door. Okay, because the the shower curtain is very wavy. It's very I think they're wrinkled. So I want to iron the shower curtain to make it straight cuz the maid didn't do it. Oh, okay, okay, for sure. Um, yeah, the yeah the uh, iron board have, should be uh, there on the entrance of the door. Yeah, do you have starch down there? Because I like my shower curtain stiff as a board. Starch? We don't. We don't. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Um, well, here's the problem. I just found. I just found the ironing board, and it's too small to put a shower curtain on. So. I'm going to need about eight, sh- eight ironing boards. Yeah, I don't have that. I'm sorry. Can you collect them? Can you let me into the other rooms and I can take the ones out of those? I'm fully sold out for the night, so I, I can't really go into the, any of the empty rooms and take them. All the rooms are being used up. And, I mean, yeah, this is kind that. of a situation. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, the shower curtains, they're, they're not straight. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what to tell you. I apologize for that. Could do. Um, I, could knock on, I could knock on each person's door and ask them if they're, they need their ironing board. Can you sit again? I'm going to go knocking on people's doors and ask if they need their ironing board. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, bothering other guests, please. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, um, well, earlier, you know someone actually um, asked because one of them was actually missing an iron board. Um, I checked upstairs. We we do have two, but they're they're broken from the legs. They don't work. They're just in the maintenance room. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, anything else I'm gonna do? What I could with? do, I could, I, I could use steam. Like if I get the bathroom really steamy, that will like take out the wrinkles. Yeah, it should take out the wrinkles for I sure. Steam yeah. It up. Mm-hmm. Um. So when is the event? Um. Can you say it again, please? Because I. Yeah, so there's supposed to be a downhill ironing board race by the hotel. I thought um, it was going to be tomorrow or something. 
Um, I don't know nothing about that, sir. Oh, yeah, all the tenants of the hotel are going to take their ironing boards to the hill down the street, and we're going to race to the bottom. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Anything hey, you else know, there's with not her? a lot to do in this town. Yeah. There's not a lot to do here. I mean, you got to you got to make your own fun. Exactly. But anything else I may help you with? Any questions? Yeah, could I have a wake up call in my room? Um, what room are you? 215. 215. Uh, at what time? Um, at 4:30. Um, so sorry about that, but nobody's here at the office at the time. The earliest could be at 8. Because the office opens up at 8. Oh, you guys are lazy. You're so, you're so lazy over there. you got to get oh. up before the sun gets up. You know, oh. early bird and all that gets the worm. Oh. oh, well, I think you got that. Wake yourself up. Anyways, I, need help with anything else? or? Yeah, could you come tuck me in? Because I'm a scared to sleep alone. Yeah, for sure. Timberline in. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for a room. Uh, for this evening? No, for tomorrow. Okay, all reservations have to be made with us online. Oh, I don't do that. I don't. That's dirty. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't do reservations over the phone. I apologize. Why not? What happened? Uh, liability reasons. Wow. Really? Yeah. Yes, sir. Wow. Liability, because the people have the ability to lie over the phone. Yeah, he's smart. I'm sorry? So... The guy I'm talking sorry, you're to me, yeah, he's on me. speaker. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my dad was just telling me. He said um, there's a liability, so you don't you don't take reservations over the phone. And I was like, that makes sense because people have the ability to lie on the phone. So it's like one and one is two, bro. That's like he's a smart one. All right. I mean, just if you know, they somebody took somebody's credit card number and stuff. We've had issues in the past, so we no longer take reservations on the phone. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, you know, yeah, I don't take numbers on the phone. Yeah, I mean, we just want to get a room, you know, you don't got to take our number or anything. We're going to be there like maybe five minutes, but we just want to save a little time because we want to get up in well, that we room don't... as quick as possible for the 420. Well, I thought you said that the reservation, you wanted to stay there tomorrow night, not tonight. Oh, we want to stay there tomorrow night, we want to stay there tonight, we want to stay there the night after. Yeah, my dad, oh, little, yeah. he's been driving a while. Yeah. Oh, um, well, I don't think that we have any availability tonight. Um, we might... Oh, oh, dad, dad, dad. Oh, 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 oh. One, please. Hey, thank you for calling to Oracle Mountains. This is Connor. How may I help you? Hello? Connor? Hello? Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? Hey, buddy. So your name is Connor? Yes, sir. We got a bit of a thing going on, and I just kind of wanted to call you and invite you up, buddy. I don't know what happened. Oh, nothing bad. It's, like, it's all good. We just got, um, you know, uh, what tomorrow is, right? Uh, no, sir. Uh, it's, well, it's 420. It's a little bit of a holiday. We got, you know, me and my buddies up in the room here. I just want to invite more people to get up here and have some fun because, 
You know, we're just doing that 420 thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir, I do. Sadly, I can't. I'm in the Air Guard. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you don't got to do but any I can't, chemicals or anything. I can't bring some Lysol. The contact eyes. I can't say. bring some Lysol for you guys. You can do that. That'll clear the air. But the real thing we're doing, dude, we got a bunch of us in here, like the real main dish. Like, yeah, we're we're doing dabs off the iron. Yeah, we're smoking a little weed in here. But the main thing we're doing, dude, we got a little bit of a gang man going on if you want to come on down. That was no, my man, I'm all right. Thank you, though. I appreciate there. you. <laughs> I mean, you haven't even seen her yet. Do you see this? She's a dime, dude. You know, I mean, get up here. Like, I'm sure you could hear some of these boys grunting around by now. No, no, no. I'm in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> listen, oh, listen, no, guys, well, listen. If you're going to talk loud, go in the other room. I'm going to start filming. Sorry. Do I have yeah, my you know, focus? <laughs> he's he's got to focus. Go in the other room. You're going to talk to the audio. You can't not. Uh, Take it. Oh, but we're just generous yeah. boys. We just thought you'd come on up, you know. We just want, we just want to share in the fun, you know what I mean? We're sharing the girls, we're sharing the fun, we're sharing the joy, you know what it is. Oh, I'm dying right now, boy. Oh, don't die. It's a good time to be alive on the phone. Come on up here. Do you want a second floor? We got the door open. We got the nah, let it run. Oh, bring some lights off. Damn, it doesn't have a blade on it, but it looks hot. We're doing a it's so apparently it's all play. play. It's all safe. There's I'm, no blade on. I'm on the clock, boys. I'm on the clock, boys. I apologize. What time are you on? Join me. You are if you want to come. Well, <clears throat> no, I'm okay. On I'm okay. I'm not getting paid the bus, buddy. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, one minute. Hey, hey, does this guy have all of his all of his fingers and toes? I don't think he looks man ass. Big Dwayne. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he's got a bit of a, a bit of a fetish when it comes to amputees. So if you got like less than ten toes, my boy's up in it. <laughs> I'm ten well, toes fetish, down. I'm that. Business. I stand on business, boy. I'm ten toes down. Is what you said. <laughs> Listen, just let me know what room you're in. I'll bring some lights. So just don't try not to smoke in the room, y'all, if you don't mind. You just got to come up to the second floor, man. The door is open. We got, man, you wouldn't believe what's up in here. But, like, you know, like like I said, we're doing them dabs off the iron. We didn't have anything else. We forgot the rig, so we just had to up off the iron, you know. Ay, ay, ay. Nothing. I'll bring some Lysol. Guys, don't smoke in the room if you wouldn't mind. Um, come that's going to be my ass. Bring some condoms. Hey, if you can, Lysol just have again. the dick out. No, don't do that. Never mind, never mind. Don't do that. You gotta, you gotta entice the ladies. They want it. They want a show, actually. See, I tell you what. Come down, get some s'mores, but go to the fire pit. Just fuck around. No, you come up. No, you come up. Cause we're already, we're already fucking around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got all. We got. Sorry. We got. We got her all spread out. You know, everybody's here. You heard my boy Dwight, right? He was talking, man. He was talking mad shit. He, he's the best dirty talker we got. It's got the ladies almost buzzing from just the straight up the the sound. <laughs> they buzzing. <laughs> well, yeah, nah, I'm okay. I it. appreciate you though. Mm-hmm. I appreciate I'll let, I'll I appreciate let the, the guys offer. I know that you're basically a Catholic priest. That's cool. I mean, you know, we'll come down. The girls will want a little piece of you know. So when we when we check hey, out, listen, Catholics rub their Catholic pussy on priests like, the like women. Catholic Catholic priests like kids. I don't like kids. That's all I gotta say. I think we're on the same page. That's so, yeah. just me. Come on up, dude. <laughs> Come on up. All right, dude. You sound good. Cool. <laughs> 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 on the phone. Crash it. <laughs> fuck, man. You're getting directions, and now it sounds like you're fucked. Fuck. fuck. <laughs> God damn it, Milkman, did you crash again? What's going on, buddy? Talk to me. Come on. If you can't make this gangbang, Fuck. you're out of the gangbang crew, dude. Crash or not. Uh, fucking Milkman. Oh. oh. That was a good well, hit, man. That just blew me well, off the road, buddy. <laughs> you got another iron? Life. 
Milkman's alive. Got, Thanks, fuck, guys. We got alive. two irons going. We could really have a good party. Could you bring us up an iron or let us come down and pick up a second one? Because our iron and board yeah. got flat. I mean, flat down. I'll tell you bro. what. Go, go ahead. Get yourself another iron. Yeah. Okay. We'll send somebody down. We'll send Deep White down there to get it. Yeah, no, but he's going to be wearing that tutu because he's, he's in a whole thing. he got to bet with the ladies. They said they'll let him fuck him, but he's got to wear the tutu. You know, so he's gonna come down. He's gonna Hold on, gang. That, Hold know. on, gang. We got he's kids. We got emotional. kids in the premises. We got kids in the premises. We got kids in the premises. No, oh, man, he's <laughs> been all right. He been sitting in the cup director's chair. Dy, he lacks that chair action. You know, all right, come get a down there where you can iron. everybody. Come get another yeah, iron. I'll get get it ready for us. As well. I got you. Yeah, well, we, we need don't light need lights. Oh, we need extra, probably a couple extra lighters, some Astro, you know, Glide. Um, if you got a pocket pussy, a couple boys in the corner, there's not enough. You know, I mean, we could use that. <laughs> um, and if you're running to Cirilla's, a ball gag wouldn't hurt. Uh, yeah. Well, all I got Our is Lysol and an iron. He goes by Lysol on the street. Oh, my boy, so Lysol. got a Lysol. Boy. <laughs> yeah, Daddy Fat Sex. That's his street name. He rolls with Lysol. So we don't need any Lysol. We got Lysol on here, Fat Sex. I like it. Cool. Get that Get iron ready. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get extension All right. cord on come that. Come on down. And then we'll bring it right you, down bro. to oh, you. Bro, you have wrinkly balls. Bro. <laughs> Y'all just my night. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Bro, answer my question. Do you have wrinkly balls? Who doesn't have wrinkly balls? Mine are fucking soft and firm. What the fuck are you talking about? My shit looks fucking nice. Need Bro, your shit probably looks like get that on. checked out, my boy. Mine need get that checked out. My shit looks like a That's why we got him in the movie. Yeah, he's one of our stars. They call him Mr. Smooth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My boy he over here. Chocolate kiss. Guy with a big old dick. He's he's called Rogue Server. He said to look him up. And he said, dude, all gangbangs, all, you know, you'll be able, there's the gangbang map if you go there. You just check it out and you just hit it with the Rogue Server, baby. Check, you you search that. Y'all wild. Y'all wild find for out. real. Y'all wild. In <laughs> one of our parties. You'll get the tattoo on your gooch uh, like the rest of the boys. You'll be one of us. <laughs> yeah, the only reason I ask if your balls hole. are wrinkly is because that's why we want the ironing board so we can wrinkle out your birthday suit, bro. <laughs> so, you can, so, so you can just... <laughs> yeah. Get, get the Bring wrinkles the out. The lasso. <laughs> I'm going to get the wrinkles oh, out your birthday suit. So come lay down on the bed. My tattoo is on my root. That's a big root on him, damn. How big a root you got, boy? How big you want it to be? Now, damn, what fertilizer you pulling? Shout out to the boy? homie Boogie. He's listening oh, from shit. OBDM. Shout out to the homie Boogie. Yeah, Boogie. Yeah, Boogie. Yeah, yeah. Boogie in on y'all, that. Y'all just made my night. I do appreciate you guys, though, for real. Today was a really shitty day, but I, I appreciate you guys making me laugh, bro, for real. I appreciate Love y'all, for server, real. Baby. Rogue server, you yes, search sir. that, you come find where the put, pussy's at. Put the extension cord on the iron and <laughs> down to let you snort up a dab, baby. You just say it's an All accident right. here, Mr. Ossifer. Yeah, lighten you up. That's, that's Do Milk, man, dude. You better show him some fucking respect, bro, when you talk to a fucking genius. One of the milk, hey, milk of the man, you, baby. <laughs> right, man, milk he, in, milk. he invented double Dutch oven butt milk, and you're going to fucking drink it when you come to the room, goddamn. Milk man with a big <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's baby. out of pocket. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> we, got our, yeah, we got our star right so, here, Mr. Smooth. He's very nice and generous. He'll show you how to make it. You just come to the room and bend over. You milked me a couple times a day, and I got to say, it's been helping my fucking stamina. Get excited. Yeah. I'm good, man. Yeah. Daddy D.Y. Come on, baby. Get out of that chair. If when we come down to it, oh, come down for so that Lysol and the supplies you're getting from the sex shop. But when we come down there, dude, I 
you know, straight up, I got to see what you're working with. You know, I want you to do a little dance, a little <laughs> strip tease, maybe, and make sure that's cool for the ladies. On a scale of one to ten, how much does your little dingling swirl in a helicopter when you when you gyrate your hips? <laughs> Three point one two high. <laughs> the moral hole. Yeah. Wicked work around. Route out there. Root out that immoral hole, baby. The best oh shit! Theory. There's a fucking chicken in the Hold hotel on. room, bro. I'm what the fuck? There's a chicken here. Dance moves. Got to nail that viral trend. <laughs> I'm deciphering the hidden messages in Taylor Swift's latest album lyric. Can we discuss this over a cup of matcha latte? It enhances brainstorming <laughs> sessions. Oops! I accidentally summoned a fairy. Do you believe in magical mishaps? Just a sec. I'm training my corgi to do tricks for Instagram. It's for science. I'm multitasking between answering your call and mastering a new video game level. Let's That's chat after star. I finish painting my Dungeons and Dragons miniature. <laughs> Gotta see what she did to the pillow. And he she tore came up to the say hi. <laughs> Eat me and digest me. Oh, shit. She's and very tasty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Very tasty. I'm crying. It's all right. You don't have to keep on smiling because that's what it's all about. Good times up here. 420, baby. We're going to bring that iron right down for you there. My boy up here, baby, he got it going on. What's your what's your guys' uh, thing called? <laughs> no. Rogue server. No. Copy that, brother. You got an Instagram or anything like that? There's a bunch of people. No, we don't do no, we don't do drugs. We don't do drugs. No, that's totally good, man. I just want to, I want to support. I want to support. Instagram, Instagram is drugs. No, listen, Instagrams is drugs. You a real one, homie. You a real one. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you sock nah, check you him first, fool? Day. Don't be just giving him instant. Hey, nah, don't just let him in. You better sock him. Fuck a sock check him. Nah. Hey, fool. <laughs> sock <laughs> check him. You better show me right now, Yeah, dog. we got to make sure you're filling out that sock. <clears throat> well, my dad's Hispanic, so it goes up to my uh, middle of my calves. Uh, it, goes, it goes up to his chonies. It goes nah. up to his chonies. No, nah, look at it closely. <laughs> oh, look at it closely. Show me your socks wait. right now, dog. <clears throat> no wrinkly balls allowed. Hey, I don't live the live. Well, that, see, I won't call an urban back. Hey, y'all, y'all have a great night. I appreciate y'all making me laugh for real. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate you. you. Show us that dick, though, for sure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good one, okay? <laughs> Anything you can send me, baby. Hello. Please state your name send after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect uh, you. Yeah, uh, blunt no. overdrive. I smoke dick because I jack off so much smoke starts to come out. Jesus. <laughs> Back we. Hi, you've reached oh. out. I can't come to the phone right oh, now. Beverly. Leave a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh. Have a great day. She sounds nicer than the Beverly we know. At the tone, please record your message. Nice, when you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, hey, Beth. Yeah. Listen, we got we got a little situation here. out, out here. Can you give me a call back to this number? Oh, boy. Thanks. Oh, boy. Hotel 1110. Hi, yeah. I got a um, could you, question could you, could... for... Yeah, could you hold well, that one moment? Oh, no, no, not at all. No, I'm in a Why hurry. We need to talk now. You just head down the hallway there, past the doors, and there's a chair left. Hi, how can I help you? Hello? Hello? Do you guys have chocolate? Who is this? Big Daddy Kane, what's up? What's going on? I'm trying to come kick it with you only if you got milk chocolate, baby. <laughs> All right. 
I'm talking about those ladies, you know, when they put on their shirt, it looks like milk chocolate duds coming out of their titties. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. What's your favorite color, titty? Chocolate. You got me, you got me all excited. Oh, shit, you got a boner right now and you're standing behind the little desk? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, man, oh, take shit. care. Have a good don't, night. Don't let anyone see you. Let me do a butthole cast call. Hello? Hello? Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Hi. Um, hi. I was wondering, you know how you got... Okay, so my grandma owns a Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory down in L.A., and I'm visiting up here for the Kings game. Um, I was wondering if it's okay, because she lets me do it, if I can come in and get something chocolified. No, we don't do that. Have a good day. You won't. You guys don't do that. You don't like cho- chocolate fry stuff. Rocky Mountain River Park. How can I help you? I have a question. Okay. You know how you guys have that chocolate, like chocolate fire thing in the back? Yes. Um, are you guys doing the thing where we can bring in our own things to get chocolate fried still? I have no idea. I know that it wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to right now because we do have to temper our machine in order to use it, and that takes about an hour and a half to an hour and forty five minutes for it to get into oh, the setting that needs um, it needs to begin. I just wanted I okay because you know how tomorrow's four twenty. Yeah. I just wanted you to come in. I want you guys to chocolify my blunt. I want to smoke a chocolate blunt. Give me one second, okay? I'm going to put you on hold. All right. All right. Well. Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory and Commerce. Shannon speaking. How can I help you today? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How can I help you, sir? Hello. So I was doing, like, I'm not sure how to say off English. I'm from Germany in your country for the first time, so I'm sorry if I don't say it right, but it's like I was doing tour. Is that what it is? Um, yeah. They, like, show how the things work, and a man said, come here, come here, and he said something about, like, chocolate vacation. Is that a thought? Uh, I'm sorry, chocolate what? Like he said, he I was doing the tour and he came and he whispered to me and he said, Shh, "Come here, come here." And so I go over and he say, "I'm doing chocolatefication. I work for this place. We're doing like things that you will not see on the tour, you know." Um, I don't think we do that here. I'm so sorry. You might be calling the wrong place. No, no. I was here. I was doing the tour, but the man whispered to me. He say, Shh, "Come here. This is something they don't want you to know that we do." But he said, um, We don't do tours at our location, so I'm sorry, but I'm not able to help you. No, no, no. I was doing the tour with the man, and he said, Come here. Yeah, we don't have said, tours at this location, is why. Well, I've been walking around your location with this man who say he works I'm here. I'm sorry, but which location are you talking about, just so I know what you're saying? Well, he said his name was Dwight. He told me he was going to show know, me how to make what things look in like chocolate. City? What city? Well, you know what? You know where you are. Don't play these American games with me. But he shared. No, that, I know. Like, I want you to know. You I want to ask which city you, n- you're n- talking you, about. Because you might be talking about a different one. What is happening? I've called the correct place. I am no stupid. I'm not saying you are, sir. But I just want to know what city you're talking about. You if you could let me know. Because I called the wrong. I not called the wrong place. I'm very smart. I'm not stupid. And he say. You never said you, you were. Know, but I, I called need the you to let me know the location say, so I could help you. Commerce. Commerce? Okay, we don't have tours here for our Rocky Mountain. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, what I'm telling you is that I am on one with the man, and he is here, and he talk, and he say, to do the tour. Yeah. And then he said he would dip the thing chocolate with me, and he showed me, and so we bought into this room I'm in your really, facility. I really, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. We don't have anything like that. Well, I'm trying to tell you and to ask you if this man work for you, because he has no. asked to do... A chocolate cast of the very most private parts of my my body. Jesus Christ. He, no. 
things that are like you bend over and he put the chocolate in between your anus and he I'm make sorry, like I'm cast for you. your anus. You hear me, don't play these games with me. <laughs> yeah, now I mean... Hello? Yeah, hi. How are you? Yeah. How are you How doing? Are you? Good. Uh, where did I just, where did I just call? Um, this is Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, Belaterra. Okay, listen. Um, I found about three gallons of uh, used uh, chocolate in the sewers, and I want to try to sell it. I have it in barrels, or I have it in bottles. Um, no, thank you. But but I, I'm gonna give it away for free. I want to just dump it all over the sidewalk in front of your in front of your place. Got the background. Bring it to my wife. Hi, right Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Yes, I'm being chocolateified. Oh dear God. Get me out of here! Hi, Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. How may I help you today? Come on, get Grandma out of there. She's in the chocolate fire. I'm sorry, what was that? Get me out of the chocolate fire! Oh, I'm chocolifying my grandma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I can help you with? Because we do have caller ID, so I'm going to call um, security. So thank you. Oh, no, bye. Guys, guys. Bye bye. No, it's 1990. Hello, best of need. Oh, hello. hello? Hi, Best Lenin. How can I help you? Hi, yes. I have a question about your residence, uh, the, the place where I lay down and I inspect the bed. And when I inspect the bed, I see, uh, you know, the machines, they're, they're talking. What machine? <clears throat> oh. Which, which room are you? Uh, let me put my brother on because I'm not sure because I've been pre-gaming pretty hard, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, you you really have. H Hello, sir. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Did I, you say this I is the go? Bastard Motel? Yeah, Bastard Motel. Uh, Bastard Inn. Bastard Inn. Okay, this cool. Um. Yeah. What? Yeah, Bastard Inn. Okay. Yeah, Bastard Inn. Great, great. So me and my me and my brother, um, we were both born out of wedlock. Uh, he was bo his father and my father are different fathers, but brothers at the same time, and so we're more than qualified to stay here. And so we we're in here right now, and we're watching our sister, but it's not my sister or his sister. She's stepsister, and she's doing cartwheels, and then she broke the TV. Uh, which which room are you in? I'm sorry. Are you staying now? In uh, right now? Yeah, my name's Johnson. His name is Carlson, and her name is Bitch. Um, it's one under one of our names. Could you look it up? Uh, no, that's no such person. Not probably not. You got it wrong. What do you? Yeah, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! She just tried to do a Jackie Joyner cursey fucking flip and shit, knock the TV over again. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Uh, Son of a bitch. So Hang on, let me run the in? numbers. Uh, this is, this is going to set us back dozens of dollars. Uh, this is not good. Uh, let me get my abacus out here real quick. Uh, okay, let me run the numbers. All right, so we're prepared to offer you a settlement in the form of $2.35. Will that be enough to replace the TV? No, no, I, I think you got the wrong number. I'm I'm not sure, you know, we have that person in our I don't, I, room. Listen, listen, I don't have I don't have the wrong number. Uh so which this room is the are right you one bas ba ba bastard in, correct? Bastard in. Bastard in, okay, great. So so I we can cut you a check in six to five weeks, uh, for two dollars and thirty five cents. How do you plead? Welcome to C-Textop. Shit, that's not... Hello. 
Hi, um, is Pussy there? Welcome to Shit Desktop. Are you fucking spit? I want some pussy. Is I like my there? eggs cooked with heat, motherfucker, you. Your sister, he have pussy. Your sister no have pussy? You are a bunch Where your mom? Where your mom? Your mother's right here next hey, to you. Excuse me, is this a Terry Maki Can shoot on the line? Mom? Can I speak your mom, please? Ma you want to talk Hello? to my mother, Chod? Hello, mother, Chod. Hello. Can I speak your mom? Who is, what is this mother, Chod? Hello. You know mother, Chod, Ben Chod. Hi. Hello. Hi, pussy. How are you? I'm good. I'm not a girl. I'm a guy, you fucking gay. Ah, you gay, oh, bro. You try to fuck my uh, man friend. Uh, oh, my dick in a shit. dude's pussy. Your mother, fuck you your father, say, and you come out. What? You can change the gender. Take it pussy. You are lying. You are the jerk. And you like men from behind, you gay boy. Don't shout. Shut up, motherfucker. I fuck you right here, motherfucker. You don't know me. You shut up. Hang up the phone. Get to work. I fuck you right here. Can I speak your sister? Because you are pussy. Your sister. I like my eggs cooked with heat, motherfucker, you. Can I speak your sister? How many fathers do you have? He's only got three, but only one claims him. I'm no comment for bitch. Hey, bitch, I'm no comment. Language, Message. young lady. How Hello, many fathers bitch. do you have? Hello, bitch. You Hi, Habibi. My friend Boogie is bitch? here. He would like to you speak to you. You have bitch? You Hello. are bitch. You bitch, right? Hello. Hey, fuck you ass, motherfucker. You are bitch. Hang up on, you monkey. Shut up, motherfucker. What's your name for your mother? Your mother is Baluchov. My name is Daddy. Your mother is Baluchov. My name is Daddy. My chut. Your mother is Baluchov. Baluchov. What price for your mother now? Your mother was free. Dog fucked her and had you out the what ass. What price your mother today? What price today? Your mother takes shits in your a hole in the street. Your mother and sister both. How much? You you made love to your sister in the dirt and the mud. Then he lord on the dirt code faster than this mother of skirt. Oh, thank you. Hello. Hey, Terry Maki shoot Ben Chod. What is this? Ben Chod, Mara Chod. What language? Soup to the rifa. It's asshole to you. It's Hindi, motherfucker, you. Yep. Yep. Hey, you're not the blood of your father, you dirty owl, motherfucker, you. Yep. 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 Hey, motherfucker, I'm gonna speak Hindi. Yep. What hip? Yep. Then he board on the dirt road faster, bitch, mother of skirt. Hello, sir. I just had a new roof put on. I am Mildred Monday. You come around here, you'll get a shotgun to your behind. I'm Mildred Monday. They just called here and told me they wanted to make a call to New Zealand. And hey, it's just Sorry, I could barely hear you there. Oh, good. Called too short. Like, it sounded exactly like him. It was oh, fucking yeah. crazy. He's got a thin street too short way. Hey, bro, do you know we're too short? Are you trying to prank call me? 
No, I'm asking like, do you know he's at, he's doing a show in the area? Oh no, I'm at a I'm I'm the I'm the front desk at a hotel. Did you mean to call that hotel? Yeah, because I want to get a room because we're gonna go see Too Short, but we got an extra oh. ticket if you want to go. Nah, man. Uh, the problem is there's some shit going on in Chico, bro. All the hotels are booked, man. I don't know if it's because of like. Ah, see or that whatever, makes sense. That's why he's out here, fool. He's he came out here from Oakland, dog. Yeah, there, bro. I don't know what it is, but we're not usually at Max yeah, whatever. I'll send you the one I made with Too Short. It sounds exactly like a milk, man. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Too Short. Hello? And it got a big old butt. Hello, Banchot. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Is your sister there? Can I talk to your sister? Huh? Is your sister there? May I speak to your sister, your lovely sister? Who are you? I'm her husband and your father. Huh? I'm your sister's husband and your father. I kissed your sister from the bubble butt in the bathroom. Which bathroom? The one that your mother and I were into. Where are you calling, sir? When he was born. I'm calling you. I'm calling you, Ben. Ben Chod. Where are you from? I'm from your mother's ass. Where do you meet? I meet your mother in the bathroom every day. Here, you want to talk to Dwight? Okay. Are you happy? Make your day, man. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Who is this? Do you have chonies? Huh? Do you have chonies? No. I wanna, I wanna fuck your sister in the street like a little <laughs> doggy. Okay. Do Come you? Here. Does your sister have saggy ball sack? Come here. Where are you? I, Ray, I'm right here, motherfucker. You. Okay. Make, make, make your. You, I want, hey, hey! I want you to breathe. No, I want, I want to pretend that I passed out. I want you to breathe into my mouth just like that. Are you happy? Uh, Make your day, man. I, I have pee in, I have pee in my urethra. All right. I have the song of your people. I, I have it on my phone. Thank you. You you got a nice big bubble we will butt be on you. When you come and make us go, make us go. Oh. Lovely sisters and mothers, flowers in their hair, their smiles. Bincho, bincho. So bright and shining, like stars up in the sky. Thank you for calling Safari in of Chico. Uh, if you already Safari. know your party, don't forget get your head off an iron and board. Yeah, let, let's let's start it and see if we can get it somewhere. Yeah, the ironing board. Weed every day. Hold up. I had one idea for a hotel too, but I. Thank you for calling Safari. Can I help you? Hi, yeah, I had a question about your soil policy. What policy? Oh, is it all right if when I get there I I start to plant soil on people? Is that okay? This is a hotel. Yeah, I know. It's not agriculture. Oh, yeah, no, it's a free sample of my soil. It has my seed in it. This is not uh, agriculture. This I, is know, I know, I know, I know. I have free free soil samples with my seed in it. It's going to grow big. What are you, an idiot? I'm saying this is in a hotel, not an agricultural store. I know it's an agricultural store, not a hotel. I know, I'm aware. Who's in my room? He's putting soil everywhere. What a fucking asshole. Oh. Thanks for calling Motel 6 Chico. This is Zach. How can I help you? Hi, Zach. How you doing there, bud? Good. How are you doing? Hey, you know what? Not too bad. Uh, just but just blazed up some of that shit, you know? It's, it's getting ready to roll nice. on the 420s here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Um, how much do I have to smoke in order to set this uh, smoke detector off? <laughs> uh, I mean, you're not supposed to smoke in the room. 
at all. I I know, but I'm doing a, I'm doing one of those silly TikTok challenges right now. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So I figure if if I get if I get enough clicks, I could deal with whatever fines and stuff you guys have. <laughs> yeah. I'm just yeah, wondering what's the, what's the tolerance? Yeah. What type of to- yeah, yeah right? What's the tolerance on this thing? Yeah, the tolerance. Uh, pretty low tolerance, I would say. Uh, yeah, probably. probably well, that's probably because it hasn't been exposed to enough weed. Yeah, and, I mean, yeah, it's just. All right, guys. You know, all right, guys. I'm here on the phone with Zach right now. He's at the front desk. What we're gonna do right now is I got this big <laughs> fucking fatty pre roll, right? This is some indica shit right here. I I decided not to do the hybrid. We're gonna do the indica. Let me go ahead and get this shit started real quick. Zach, yeah, are you on the right. are you on the phone with me, Zach? All right, oh yeah, cool, I'm still cool. here. I'm, here I'm here with you all the here way. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Fire the oh dude, oh, oh fire, the in the oh, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Oh shit. Oh, one puff is all it took to get this party started. Zach, what type what type of fines am I looking at, bro? Uh, about four hundred twenty dollars. Ooh, four twenty. You hear that all? It's like yep. it's like synchronicity it's over here. Yeah. Oh shit. Some good shit, D Y. Milk, milk man, milk man. Yeah. yeah. Here, put put this put this put this marijuana joint in your butt. Now inhale. Hold on. Move it. You guys boofing weed over there? He's oh, yeah. yeah. I just butt-chugged that. Oh, that was good. Hey, dude, you butt-chugging oh, the water, too? smoke, yeah. Oh, no, we got to no, put him no. out. He got his ass hair on fire. Hang on. Thank got you. a fire extinguisher. Put the hair off my cheek. Oh, gee. Thank you. I'm trying to put you out. It's so refreshing. Oh, no. Dude, quit blowing the smoke in my anus, brah. I'm high enough. I'll put some more of this butt Sorry, milk in the bong. Let's do that. Butt milk in the bong. Yeah. All right, man. I got to get back to work. I'm hanging up. Yeah, that's some of my some of that real. My that's butt is bad. bad. Thanks, bruh. I didn't mean to interrupt what you were saying, Axe, but it just came out. Hello? You came out all right. Hello? Hello. How can I help you? Hey, um, who am I speaking to? An Anastar Casino Hotel. Okay, but what's your name, sir? My name's Anthony. Crispy, is that him? Yeah. You're the guy that fuck Crispy right here, bro. And she's pregnant. Holiday and Express Bernalillo. Hello? Hi, um, so you know how it's 420 tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's also the planetary alignment of Venus, Mars, Saturn, and, Le- and Neptune. They line up in okay. Pisces. So, like, my friend Milkman told me to light the blunt with a satanic, um circle of candles in in weed ash and I did it in the room and now there's like this dude that talks on my phone that sounds like a demon and I can't get him off my phone. He keeps saying his name is Dwight. Mom, his name where is you at? Give me your cunk cran, boy. I'm in the room. <laughs> what room? <laughs> Which room? Give me Do you hear the demon? Cran. Give me your cum crayon, motherfucker. Give me your cum crayon. Which room are you in? Hello? The big room with two... Breakfast Best Valley and Sweets. This is Connor. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? I was wondering if I'd stay tomorrow night. I'm going to smoke that ganja. I'm sorry, what? Hello? Hello? I wanted somewhere to stay so I could smoke ganja, that good stuff, that GDP. I'm afraid we don't have any rooms that you can smoke in. The entire state of North Dakota has been smoke-free for quite some time. You'd have to smoke it outside. But tomorrow is 420. Come on. I'm sorry, who is this? 
My name is Lou Cecil. Hey, I like the... The Quintana in Grand Forks. This is William. How may I help you? Oh, Hello? God. Bill. William. William. Yes. You're the guy that fucked Crispy. I'm sorry? You're the guy that fucked our friend Crispy. She's right here. It was it was him, right, Crispy? Yeah, it was him. How could you he do that, bro? He, he didn't call back or answer after that. He just totally ghosted me. You ghosted her after she, she gave it up, bro? <laughs> Uncouth. <laughs> Thank you for calling Microsoft. Can you chocolate find my dick? Sorry, what? Hello, how do you do? How are you? I'm good. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear it, Victoria. Listen, my name is William. I'm in one of your rooms. I've got a couple fellows here that have a couple of questions for you regarding the you-know-what... You know what? What is that? There's a little man here with white eyebrows, green hair, and he's got his skin all painted orange. He said his name was Daddy Fat Sacks. He wanted to talk to you specifically. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. What's up, fool? I'm a Noompa Loompa. What's up? Oompa Loompa. What's up, fool? I'm a Noompa Loompa, dog. What's good? Yes, you didn't know we were Mexican, about. fool? <laughs> Copyright free. Thank you for calling my Loompa Hey, what's Loompa. up? Why'd you call me earlier, Loompa. fool? You're not allowed to have fun. How can I help? Boom, ba, loom, ba, do, ba, da, di. When I ask for a room, you'll give it for free. Okay? Thank you for calling Every Spring Sweets, Ryan. Speaking, how can I help? Hey, fool, boom, ba, we're going to have a loom, ba, loom, ba, your little nutsack, fool. When I ask for a room, you'll give it for free? I can't hear you. There's multiple people Are talking. You not? Yeah, Are you well, fucking you need stupid or what? Okay, you need to learn hello. to listen. You'll have to you'll have to call back too many people Hello. on the phone here. Thank you for calling. No, Pizza no, Hut. no, no, no. no. I'm sorry, boys, boys. It's my boys. I'm sorry. It's just Hello? me. Can you hear Pizza me? Hut. Hello. We've got these boys, and they're a little ex. Just. Let's be in good afternoon. How can I help you? Hello. How can I help you? How I. How I can help you. Sorry, you are at... Um, Hello? Three in Watford City? Hello? Oh, I'm in uh, Boca Raton. Yeah. I'm at a... I, beg your I'm, I, came, I came here for the timeshare presentation. They okay. said if... Uh, we... Sorry? <clears throat> I'm I'm listening. The, the, oh, yeah, the timeshare presentation. Yes. They said if I watch the four-hour video, I'll get free lobster and 45 minutes on the slopes. Okay, you are at Little Missouri Inn City Hotel? Yeah, that place. Okay, um, maybe you must find the, the Teddy's residential suite. We don't have a... Uh, front here. But there's one at no, the... Um, maybe, you, maybe you could look up my name in the computer system. Okay. Um, um, I, um, can, can you please give me your phone number because I'm standing with a gate in front of me that I'm busy helping. So if you can... Dude, she hit on you? I think she's flirting with you. Then I will, I will look up your, your name and your room number and then I will phone you back. Okay, can you write down my name so you don't forget? Yes. 
Okay. It's T. Yes. I T. I T. T I E S. Okay. T I T. Tom. I is an indigo. T is in Tom. T is in Tom. I is an indigo. E is in Edgar. S is in Sam. Okay. And your surname, sir? Uh, L O U. Yes. S E. Yes. C U N T. U N T. And yeah. uh, do, do you do you have a reservation here? Uh, yeah. I, I well, I want to stay there. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have a re reservation yet. No. Okay, Can you read you, back the you, name to make sure you got it right? Uh, no. just just um uh, pr pronounce your name for me. Well, I just want you to read it so that I'm you sure know I, that you have the right name. If I heard you uh, correctly, but I will phone you back. I see your telephone number is two oh nine three one five okay. one oh seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm Mr. Tidies, please do call back. Thanks. Tidies. Okay. And then um, it is for, you, you said for, for free lobster? Yeah, the, it was uh, with the timeshare presentation. It was the free lobster with the stay. Yeah. Share presentation. Okay, I will find out and I will phone you back. Okay, I look forward to your call. Bye. 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 Carter speaking to help you. Carter? Carter? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck to you. What's up? Oh, Fuck Carter? The fuck are you? Fuck to you. Yeah. Fuck to you, Carter. What's up Fuck to me? To I don't. I don't know. What's the question? Fuck to you. Why? I don't know why you don't understand. Fuck to you. Hello, this is Dirty Puerto Rican. How may I assist you? Noise <laughs> <laughs> for days. I pissed myself. Hello. Hello. Did you hear this song? It was talking about nasty stuff. I know. <laughs> you hear? Hey, who's that? This is playing in your establishment. You hear it? It was saying like moist for days. No. Hi, my complimentary diaper is dirty. <laughs> Get back in the closet, Grandpa. Sorry about him. Listen. Hey, hey, you get back in there, Grandma Piss Pants. <laughs> I, it's, oh. it's, it's changing my diaper complimentary because I used a complimentary diaper and I filled it up. Here's a compliment. You look really good in that diaper. Now get back in the closet. Okay. You heard that song, right? I was calling about the song. It was talking about like all being all moist, and it was playing out in your in your establishment. You heard that, right? Um, hello. Grandpa, hello? sing it. Yeah, there's stuff starting to leak out of my room diaper. You know the the. There's the, the complimentary robe and then the complimentary diaper. Can I, I have like you're can a I have complimentary stew? Can I um have room service come up and change me?
Hey, Grandma Piss Pants. <laughs> Destination is Make sure you're alive, in. you're old. Hey, I'm just trying to make sure my grandma, the old bag, is still alive. Is you still alive, you old bitch? Sign the fucking will. Sign the will, Grandma Piss Pants. Give me your hand. Give me your fucking hand. Sign the will. Sign this shit. Sign it. I'll break him off. I'll break him the fuck off. Sign it. Sign it. This head doesn't work. You realize ah, you didn't story. block your number, right? Now you right? lose a finger. Shut your mouth, you can motherfucker. You your number, right? You know that, right? Shut up. Shut up, asshole. Motherfucker, no. you. You know you can be your number. It doesn't work. I don't give a shit or a fuck. Now sign it, you little it bitch. Two rivers in. Why Which, what are the name of the two rivers? Yeah, what are the name of the two rivers and why the, why the fuck are you concerned about it? Hello? This is Byron. Hey, this is Wendy from Carrington. Is there a point to this? I don't know. You called Carrington and then Sweets. How should I know? So you don't want a room in the motel? I don't even know who you are. Okay, I guess you called the wrong number. Have a good evening. Oh, okay. Thank you for calling. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Ted, may I help you? Hello? You say Ted or Ted. You say your name was Ted or Ted. Ed. Well, that's still a bullshit name. But I have a problem in my room, sir. What's the problem, sir? Motherfucker, you. Well, the problem is you're not in here looking at my 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 weenus. Oh, yeah. I know it doesn't make sense, but hear me out. Weenus. Weenus, you know? Weenus Scatapelli. It's Italian. Yeah, when you come, when you come, your family. You know. This is the hotel, sir. Can I help you? No, you're beyond help. Yeah, you don't have a sense of humor, you dullard, dull son of a bitch. This is Byron. Hi, Byron. It's Corin Duplessis speaking from a Little Missouri Inn. You found me earlier. Regarding the timeshare presentation and free lobster and so on. Hello? Hello? My Hunger Games books, I don't know. What then? Hello? What? Hey, listen to that catchy jingle, the fucking Arby's jingle. Look at that shit. Oh, no, it's BK. BK, have it your way. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, sing the jingle, Hi. you fat bitch. Hey, hey, what are you doing there, AA Ron? <laughs> All right. Who is this? Uh, oh, oh, it's Dwight. And I need a, I need a room. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We we're kind of booked. Yeah, but I oh, I, fi- I finally talked to my coworker into cheating on her husband, and this has been like a year in progress. So like, I need to fuck. Oh. What? So like, you can't be a hundred percent booked, right? Like. So you're saying you had a reservation? Oh, on, no, no, yeah, yeah, I got a reservation. I know what you're, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I had a reservation. Okay. And I think they, That's I think they gave it away. So, so what, so what can you do for me? Oh, uh, work. We've got nothing. Okay, okay. But yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I got a fifty for you. So what can you do for me? I got nothing. Okay, okay, right. yeah, yeah, I, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. I understand.
understand. So like 99% booked up, like what's the deal? Uh, 100%. Hi. Hi, I'm the co-worker. I'm, I'm the co-worker that he's going to have sex with. Yeah, we're going to play, wanted... we're gonna have to play the homophobe card. No, there's but a it is. How I help you? thing where they do that, and they talk all about it. Yes? Hello? I was told it was Ben Chode. I'm sorry? Sorry, talk Hello? to Dwight. He he has the info. Hello? Hey, um, what kind of budget? I'm, I'm sorry? This is the Budget Inn Hotel. How can I help you? Right, but, I mean... I have a different budget from you, for example. Like, I allocate in my budget probably a thousand dollars to self-help books and crying online to people about how worthless and pathetic I am. Um, so my budget isn't as, you know, big as yours for things like hotel rooms. Okay, uh, well, I can make it kind of easy. We're actually booked oh. out right now, so I don't think it'll actually uh, really. Oh, now you're booked myself. out once you find out that I'm a loser. You don't have losers no, in your we, hotel. No, we've been booked I out. Get it. No, we, we've been booked out the entire time, sir. I was just seeing if I could, because I also oh. man the phones for maintenance requests, so that's why I pick up the phone as well, to help anybody with maintenance requests. It has nothing to do with oh. that. I, I was just letting you know, if are you're looking for a room, people? we are booked out, unfortunately. Oh. Are there any people in there yeah. fornicating who shouldn't be? Oh, yes. I'm sure there are, but I'm not, sure, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not aware of it, so. Yeah, Is there out of sight, out of mind. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, I did want a room. You, 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 you said I could, I could have a room, so let's move forward with that. Oh, well, we're booked out, as I said. We, we don't have any more. Right, so just, you know, Look through the guest list and find someone who has a lower socioeconomic status than me and tell them something right, came up nice, and I'm, a more I'm glad I could help you out. You take care. Hey. Hello? Hi. I'm trying to watch a movie in, in the room, but some guy, he knocked on the door and he said, hey, man, I got some soil and seeds for you. Does he work for you? Who? The the soil seed man, the soil man. No, nobody work here. No, only for he, me. He said he works for you, and you and you said it was okay for him to come in the room and start putting soil, and trees and shrubbery inside the room. And now there's a Hold. whole nursery of trees and shrubs in my room. I Hold I don't on. like it because there's animals and they're crawling through and like, I can't sleep. It's really loud and 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 humid in here now with all the plants and the and the soil <laughs> and the animals. On a what room number? Uh, I said two one. <laughs> the animals. Where is that? Those are the animals in the room. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. What room number you are? Uh, two, twenty, what, five? Huh? Six. Three. What room number you are? That's two, one, five. And my lovely sister is here, too. Can you hear her? That's my two, lovely five? sister there. Yeah, I think. Where you are calling, bro? Oh, I'm calling you. Where? Dakota. What Dakota? You're calling from uh, BBGB. Oh. Where are you calling? <laughs> Hello? Calling from DB, DB Road. DB Road. That's not GB Road. Wait, what's not GB Road? I don't know about that. That is still not the one. Do I, do I turn left on GB Road? I don't know. That is still not the quota. 
But I'm, I'm looking at this thing and it says the address of your mother and your sister, and I'm trying to find it. No, that's not GB Road. Hello? It's not GB Road? No. I was told that if I went to the GB Road that the you women would me, wash, you know. You are calling me Cobblestone Inn, and I still not Dakota. Is that a hotel? Not a hotel? It's a hotel. What is it? Is a still hotel? not Dakota. Hotel? My my name my name is Patel. Patel? Patel, yeah. I don't know who's calling you. Yeah, my, my, name is, my, my last name is Handjob, Patel Handjob. I know, but you are calling, you are calling maybe wrong number. No. Number? Yeah. Hello? Hey, it's, it's a line. Cleared up there for a moment. Huh? Yeah, so my name is Patel, and I want to stay at the hotel. You want to stay at the hotel? Yeah, this, this is the right hotel for Patel. Nobody, that's the wrong number. What did you, you say? Yeah. That, what did you that's say? Not, that's not TB Road and that's uh, not for you, whatever you are looking for. No hotel for Patel on GB no. Road? No. Why? It's not Why? TB Road, bro. How do you know what I want? I say, that's Where's not TB Road? Road. I'm looking on Google Maps. I don't know about that. I'm not what? And on Google Maps it says BB Road and and then there's some prostitutes or something and then near hotel. No. It's a wrong number. That's not T B Road. I don't believe it. I, I think you're trying to be evasive, like you don't like me, you don't want me to stay there. Buddy is not the T B Road. <laughs> This is the hotel for Patel. I'm telling you. That's not hotel for Patel. Hotel for Patel tonight. Buddy, that's not hotel for Patel. Okay? Why? That's not the B road. What do you mean why? And don't disturb to me. I'm sleeping right now. You are just calling me, then I wake up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. Sleep um, sister. Block, block, block. But I'm looking for Hotel for Patel on GB Road. I told you. I don't know about the GB Road. GB Road and what? Hello? Uh, GB Road and... Yeah, GB Road and Bodmash Avenue. What kind of oh, avenue? No, no, no. What? What kind of avenue? Uh, Bodmash? No. no. That, that, no. Are, that are not Dakota. Yeah. What about Terra Maka Bosara Highway? Tarimano Bojro Bencho. We lost the patient. Thank you for calling to go to Anna This is Mel. How can I help you? Hello? 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 Hi. How are you doing, Mel? I'm good. What's up? 
Oh, we were well. I, I'm a, I'm a dirt scientist, and I wanted to offer uh, folks because of the holiday, you know, uh, free soil. Hello. Come on, motherfucker. Hi, uh, yes, I'm in my room and I seem to have soiled myself. Okay. Um, I was actually trying to repot one of my plants and I spilled a lot of soil everywhere. Um, and I don't know what to do about it. (laughs) You (laughs) fucked, that was a good premise, fuck you. Thank you for calling. Hi, hello? (laughs) Hello? Hi. Yeah. Oh man, I'm I'm really high. Uh listen. Uh we got a little soil here in the in the room. I, I was wondering if it was all right if I if I grew some plants, you know, just for the holiday. That'd be all right. What, I got What room are you in? I'm in the bathroom right now cuz I was getting the bucket ready, you know, to pour water in. I need to use, you know, the shower to get it all in there. You know, cuz the soil needs water. We need, you know, we're just gonna—it's just gonna be in here for a day, you know. We're gonna be taking it outside. We'll smoke it, you know. We're gonna get real high. So I make sure, you know, there's no problem with that. Well, unfortunately, it, um, marijuana is illegal in the state of North Dakota. I would—I wouldn't advise. Oh no, no, having... no! It's not—it's not marijuana. It's uh, you know, it's um, it's cannabis. Cannabis is still can, um, illegal to grow in the state of North Dakota. Uh, it's um, it's the male cannabis, you know, the one that has the sacks on it, the big, big sacks on it. I, I would, I would, I would suggest not having that in your room. Okay. I personally don't have a bit issue with it, but I can't, I can't speak for the rest of the the staff. I and got you. It is, it is considered illegal. So. Okay. Uh. Okay. Then. Uh. Okay. I think we're okay. I'm not going to do it. Because I, I just realized it takes wow. like three months. And there's a wildcat. Wow. And it's attacking me. But I'm not there. I'm in my wow. house. This is a problem. Wow. I have to go. Okay. Football. Wow. Wow. It's the sport of game. Football. Better than diamond rings. Football. 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 Goldie Hawn fucked Kurt Russell out of wedlock for 40 plus years, just so you know. Very yeah. Interesting. They're basically married on the screen, though. His, the marriage ring between those two was his cock and her vagina. Oh, my God. It's the sport of team. Football. Better than <laughs> diamond rings. Have a good Football. night, guys. Watch Wildcats. <laughs> night. Bye. That fucking movie. <laughs> Hello. Football. How are you doing, dear? Ball. That's when I touched it and she liked it. Cause I could touch my toes as a fat man. Ooh, 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 ooh. That, listen, listen to my wife. She's into it. Yeah. You fat bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. She likes she likes it when we role play where I'm Abraham Lincoln and she's John Wilkes Booth and she puts me on my misery. Someone's saying huh? seven beers ago. Thank you for calling the front desk at the Hyatt Regency, Tamaya. How may I assist you? Well, you had the hotel named after you? The Hyatt Regency, Tamaya? Fucking awesome. I thought so.
Yeah, how'd you what pull that off? Get the f- Egotistical bitch. Yeah, like, what is that all about? Like, oh, it's my hotel, you know? It's like, damn. I have to come lead with that. Be like, I got my own hotel. Who are you? Mm, look at me, look at my hotel. Mm, 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 mm. Hello. Sorry, I could barely hear you there. Can you hear me now? Oh, good. Yes, yes. I got a missed call from you early this morning. Yes, yes, yes. Why are you calling me? Someone did call last week about the same thing. Was that you? Can you hear me? It is funny that you should call because my third eldest, Larissa, she was talking about this last week. I you know, she's very smart. I'll give her that. She was the first in the family to go to university and passed with distinctions. You know, we're all quite proud of her. Yes, yes. So she was saying that I should look into this sort of thing. So what more? Can you tell me about it? I can't I can't really understand you. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite catch you there. What was that again? I, I I can't really hear you properly. I can't really understand you. Sorry, again. Can you can you can you repeat that? Could you say that again, please? Can you can you repeat that? I, I couldn't understand you. Well, you know, here's the thing. The last time someone called up and spoke to me on the phone, I got in quite a bit of trouble because I went for something I shouldn't have. Because then, um, the oldest, Rachel, she, uh, she wouldn't speak to me for a week. Now, that happens, but that really okay. hurts. Uh, and sometimes we're, we're, in the family, we're, we're, you know, these things are quite important, you know. The more important than any phone call or whatever it is. One minute. Hold on a minute, please. Uh, where are you calling me from? Well, you know, since you put it that way, you've been quite friendly. Well, I... With I me. Hello? I... Hello? Yeah. Are you there? Sorry, yes, I have I'm a here. bit of a problem with this phone in my moist knickers. And the hearing is not so good. Yeah, uh, where, where are you what calling are you me saying from? Again? Where are you calling me from? Well, with the world finances as they are, uh, we aren't able to spend quite as much as we used to. Uh, how, okay. how is this going uh, to work? Uh, uh, what is the point of the phone call? Why are you calling me today? Well, that does sound good, yes. It's a very patient with an old maid like me. It's something that I've been I, told I, I should be looking at. My first eldest, Larissa. I believe I've mentioned her before. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, where, where? Uh, she, uh, she said I should be calling for something like this. She was calling for what? Uh, something that is most appropriate for the time. Uh, could you all hold okay. on a moment? Oh. Just a second here. Get out of here, you damn birds. Get out of me, because... Sorry, sorry about that. What were you saying again? So, where, where are you based? Where, where, which part of the, the UK are you based? Oh, good. Yes, yes. Which part? Whereabouts are you from? Where are you calling me from? Oh, sorry, dear. Which company did you say you were calling from again? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. So which part of the... Uh, are you in the UK? We all spent birth and passed a while ago. Which part of the UK are you in? I'm sorry, dear. Could you please repeat yourself? Oh, I'm very hard of hearing. What part of the UK are you calling me from? Or whereabouts? What part of the country? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you know, my are quite moist. 
I, I think I think you've got the wrong number, love. I think you happen to know how much this would cost me. For what? You know, I'm on a fixed income. How, how much would it cost you for what? I, I don't understand. Please excuse me, there's a man in me really bit. What are you doing Can I speak to somebody else? Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite catch you there. What was that again? Can I speak to somebody else? Sorry? Can I speak to somebody yes. else? Can I speak to somebody? If there, is there somebody else I can speak to? Could you say that again, please? Love, is there anybody else with you I can talk to, no? Well, is you know, here's the thing. Can... The last time someone called up and spoke to me on the phone, I got in quite a bit of trouble because I went for something I shouldn't have. Because, well, the oldest grey she uh, she wouldn't speak to me for a week. Now, that happens. Oh, see, you see, really I, I don't... And sometimes in the family, you know, these things are quite important, you know. They're more important than any phone call or whatever it is. You see, I don't understand because at 5am this morning, I've got a missed call from this number. So That's I don't know why... Should you put it that way? He's been quite friendly. and us off with me. Hello? Hello, yes, can are you hear me? there? Yes, Sorry, I'm here, yes. I have a bit of a problem here. with this phone in my moist knickers. And my hearing is not so good. Yes, uh, what were you saying again? So I, I, I think you have the wrong number. Sorry. Well, with the world finances as they are, uh, we aren't able to spend quite as much as we used to. Uh, how, how is this going to work? Can you hear me? Well, that does sound good, yes. It's a very patient with an old maid like me. It's something I'm I've been this. Should be looking at. I, My first help I'm recording. Larissa. I believe I've mentioned her before. Can I speak? Yes, can I yes. speak? Yes, she, I'm, I, I'm she, recording. Uh, she'll be calling for something like Can this. I talk? Can I talk? I'm recording this phone that call. Not appropriate for the time. I'm re- I'm recording this phone call moment. to it's show the police. Here. I'm calling the police. I'm showing. I'm recording this Get phone call here, for man, evidence man. for the police. Sorry, sorry about that. What were you saying again? I'm recording this phone call for the police. Oh, good. Yes, yes. So I'm going to show the police this phone call. Is that okay? Oh, sorry, dear. Which company did you say you were calling from again? Ah, uh, fuck off.